Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Dr. Weefer, and this is for my living environment biology class. This is some artwork made in class about white blood cells producing antibodies to fight a virus. So viruses, keep in mind, they come in all different shapes and sizes. This one looks like an angry virus. On the surface of every virus are these antigens, which are the specifically shaped protein molecules that mark a unique virus. And all viruses are going to have some kind of genetic information. In this case, it's DNA inside this virus. And this kind of looks like a bacteriophage virus that will infect bacteria. This is what the general shape is. Uh, there's other shapes of viruses. This one is going to be a virus that is encapsulated in an envelope. But look at this antigen on it. This is in the shape of a triangle. And we also have DNA on the inside. And here's another cool looking virus. And this is a square shaped antigen. So keep in mind, each virus unique is going to have its own shaped antigen on the surface. That's what marks one virus versus another. So we'll use this virus as an example. It's going to come along, it's going to invade the body, and the immune system is going to recognize that. And we have these white blood cells that when it's fighting the virus is going to produce antibodies. So these shapes right here are antibodies. And if you notice, this square looks like it will fit right into there. So that is the key thing, is that when your white blood cells make antibodies, they have to be the right shape to attach onto the antigen, which is on the surface of the virus. That's how it knows to mark it for destruction. So here it is. Here is the white blood cell nearby. You can see that the antibodies are specifically attached to the antigens right there. That marks it for destruction. So another white blood cell comes along and says, hmm, it's marked for destruction. I'm going to consume this virus. I'm going to engulf it, and I'm going to destroy it. And that's what exactly happens. So the white blood cell is going to engulf this virus by a process called phagocytosis. It is going to digest it in a digestive vacuole, and it does great. It's gone. Uh, one question that often comes up on these kind of tests, like the living environment regions, is what does a vaccine do? Well, a vaccine is a weakened or dead form of a virus. Maybe they'll put just pieces of the virus in so your body can recognize these antigens. So your white blood cells pump out these antibodies, and also it makes memory clones of itself. So it knows how to make that very specific shape super quick if and when you get infected by the real thing. This way, uh, if you get infected by the real thing, it's able to mark it for destruction before it even, before even notice it a lot of times. Also, that's the reason why you usually don't get sick from the same exact virus twice. If you do get sick from, for example, the flu two times or three times or four times, that's because this virus has mutated and it has a different shape antigen on the surface that maybe your body doesn't recognize. Maybe it's a triangle. Maybe it's a circle. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the review and good luck on your test.